God bless you. I'm Elder Michael Holman. I have not been on live on this in a platform in a, in a minute. I've done recordings of previous uh, sessions, but I thank God that today I'm on live impromptu, no special recording, no special meeting. I just wanted to come on live and thank God for all that he's done. Truly, the Lord has been good and worthy to be praised. I thank God for my friend, uh, Elder Lionel Copeland, who went on to be with the Lord. Lionel Copeland, a powerful, powerful preacher. I thank God for him. Me and him would listen to uh, various preachers preaching like uh, uh, Elder, uh, rather Apostle um, Huey Rogers, powerful, powerful preacher. We'll play him at the end just before we go off, Apostle Huey Rogers. We thank, I thank God for him because uh, uh, he, he was a good friend of mine. We were called Second and First Timothy uh, by our bishop, Willie Robinson. I thank God for his life, for the life that he lived. I thank God for his wife, for his children. Truly, he uh, was, was an example of one that they should, one who they can live their life by. I thank God because I know where he is. He's in heaven and I'm going to meet him when I get there. I thank God for uh, just for his life, for the life that he lived, his family, uh, mother, sisters, brothers, everyone. I thank God for him. Truly, he was an anointed preacher, a powerful example of how we should live our lives uh, for God. I thank God. And I, I can't wait to see him again. I'm living my life so that I'll see him again. <laughs> One preacher, uh, a prophet, asked me, what do you want God to do for you? Hey, go, go to my go to my uh my WordPress site mikeholman.net m i k e h o l m a n dot n e t. I believe the last post uh is from um house. Uh, I forget the name now, but it's touched with house prophet a f m. It's it's the it's the very first post. As soon as you go to mikeholman.net. House of Promise. I just remembered House of Promise. Uh, the very first pro post in there, you can click on the Clubhouse link, which will take you to, to, to the Clubhouse recording. If for some reason that does that's not working, you can go to one link right below it and you'll go to, uh, you see my recording. I'm the same thing. Uh, but in that recording, he said, oh, the prophet, the prophet said, what do you want God to do for you? I said, I want to live my life so that I'm doing everything that God divinely called me to do. And I said, the reason why I want God's divine will, because when I get to heaven, I know I'm going, but when I get to heaven, I want to have rewards when I get there. That's the big thing about being in, in getting to heaven. You just don't want to get to heaven, but you want to have some rewards when you get there. And by doing God's divine will, he gets us, gets us not only into heaven, but we get to reap the rewards and benefits of doing God's divine will. And that's my prayer every night. Every night I pray that prayer that God will show me his divine will, that I do it divinely what he wants me to do. I ask God to, to uh, give me strategies where to invest. And I say, when I pray, I say, Lord, uh, let me invest what you've divinely given me whether it be natural, whether it be spiritual, give me your divine direction in the investments that you've given me so that they could uh, not only be used, not only be, uh, be, be a blessing uh, here on earth, but that because they are, they are God's divine will, they'll be a blessing in heaven. I'll have that reward up in heaven because I did it that divinely what God has asked me to do. I just talked to my son the other day and I told him the same thing. We need to do God's divine will. When we do his divine will, then we not only take treasures here on earth, but we have treasures up in heaven because we're not doing our will. We're doing what God desires us to do. And I believe that is the message for the world today. We need to do divinely what God has called us to do. Let us go to God in prayer. Handa la boshai. Oba boshai. We thank you for your mercy. Handa la boshai for your kindness today, right now. Let your people do your divine will. Someone may be sick and racked in their body, but you're a healer. Someone may be going through a, tr a problem in their home, but you can fix it. Handa la boshai. You can work it out. Someone may be trying to figure out 
how to get through school. Someone just needs to get through the day. If they can get through the night. Someone deal with racking situations in their house. We bind the devil right now. Let your blood prevail. In the name of Jesus. Let the people know if they confess with their mouth the Lord Jesus. And believe in their heart that you have risen him from the dead. They can be saved. They can be delivered. They can be set free. Let them know they can receive, not beg for, but receive the infilling of the Holy Ghost. That keeping, saving, delivering power. And as I pray every night at midnight, let them know they can activate the angels because we're in warfare. And we need the angels to assist us in this battle. They can activate the angel that was there when they were first birthed into the earth. They can activate Michael, the archangel of war, and his legions. They can activate Gabriel, the archangel of information, and his legions. Because we're in a warfare. And we can activate them. Ask them to be activated. Be present in everything that we do. We thank you today. For not leaving us in this battle alone. But giving us your Holy Ghost giving us the ability to activate the angels who you have commissioned to work for us. Do it today, Lord. Do it today for that man, that woman, that boy, that girl. Do it today. Heal today. Save them today. Deliver them today. Fill them with your Holy Ghost today. Let them activate the angels that you've given them today that they might be healed in the midst of their sickness you're a healer let them believe you for healing let them see healing let them say i'm healed i believe god that god is a healer do it right now in the name of jesus we know that you're able we know you're able all powers in your hand in jesus name we thank you today we praise you we glorify you we magnify your name. I was thinking about this song. I, I, I believe I last heard it uh, by, uh, or that I first heard it by uh, Pastor Vincent Ross' sister. Then I also heard it again by um, uh, somebody else, Clubhouse, was singing it as well. I lift my hands in humble adoration on to you you reign upon the throne and for you are god and god alone because of you my cloudy days are gone i can sing to you this song i just want to say that i love you more than anything i love you jesus I worship and adore you. Just want to tell you that I love you more than anything. I lift my hands in humble adoration unto you. You reign upon the throne for you are God and God alone. Because of you my cloudy days are gone. I can sing to you this song. I just want to say that I love you more than anything. I love you, Jesus. I don't know about you, but I love him. And he, and he wants us to love our neighbor as ourselves. Again, I go back to my, me and my son's conversation recently. He wants to love our neighbors as ourselves. So we love our neighbor, but then we also love ourselves. And most importantly, we love him for his divine sacrifice. Every night before I pray, as I begin to pray at night, I said, Lord, I thank you because you gave your life on the cross. You came all the way from heaven down, took on the form of man, died and rose again. That I might have right to the tree of life, to live forever, even after I'm gone on this earth, to live forever with you. I say, Lord, I thank you for that sacrifice. Who could have sacrificed for us but God? I thank you because you gave your life for us, died on the cross for us. 
And you didn't leave us comfortless, but you gave us the gift of the Holy Ghost that keeping saving delivery power. And you and you gave us the ability to activate the angels that will help us in this warfare. Shine. There is none like God. He's an arm, he's an alpha and omega. He's the beginning and the end, the first and the last. There is none, none, none like him. I thank God for all that he's done. He's worthy of the praise. He's worthy of the glory. He's worthy, worthy, worthy of the honor. I thank God for all that he's done. I'm not even sure if we're still alive. I'm getting error messages on my thing. But I thank God for all that he's done. He's worthy of the praise, the glory, and the honor. I thank God, uh, as I mentioned a while back, since last year I've been using uh, Clubhouse. So there are many, many Clubhouse groups uh, that you can go to. Um, um, some of the ones that, that I actually use quite often, I'll just read the names. My Clubhouse link now, different Clubhouse link, uh, tinyurl.com forward slash follow me on Clubhouse now. Follow me on Clubhouse now. tinyurl.com forward slash follow me on Clubhouse now. And, and you'll see the different clubs that I'm that I'm a part of. You can go to any one that you want, uh, some of the ones that I use uh, there are the uh, Kingdom Business Kingdom Business Network is one. Uh, Grace Family Prophet there is awesome, awesome. Um, Mount Sinai, I call him Papa Papa George. Powerful, powerful ministry. Every month I sow into his ministry. Um, Bethel Family Prophet Joe Gamma, powerful powerful prophet of God. And just and just, 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 just to give you an idea of people that I deal with, uh, Bethel Joe Gamma, he's from Ghana. Uh, Papa George, he's from Ghana, but he has a church in Ghana and, and the States, Virginia, and uh, Grace Family. He's also from Ghana, but he's been in the States as well, just got married. Powerful, powerful prophet of God. The prophet's reward, Apostle John Eckhart, powerful, powerful. I posted that also on MikeHolman.net. Just click on MikeHolman.net, and there's a search bar somewhere in there. You can type in uh, John Eckhart, uh, and you'll see some of the uh, things that I posted of his. Of his. Um, I got the Preacher's League, um, and bam, Dr. Prophetess. Pastor Delaney Smith, powerful, powerful woman of God. I've, I've sold into her ministry. Powerful, powerful woman of God. Bam. Uh, every Sunday at 6 p.m. All right, just, just remember that. Um, uh, the Midnight Oil, that's that's the Midnight Oil. That's the apostle that sang the song. Uh, that Not that made it, but I heard the second person I heard sing that. That apostle in the Midnight Oil. Uh, decrees from breakthrough, decrees for breakthrough. That's also John Eckhart. Uh, morning prayer, morning prayer, twenty four seven. Powerful prophetess, powerful, powerful. I thank God for her. And uh, uh, the the London Prayer Group. I've been I've been there maybe once. Um, sons and daughters, sons and daughters. This is one I just recently joined. Powerful. This is by. This is by the prophet, AFM, prophet, powerful, powerful. He's the prophet over the, the, the rather, the, the, he's the, his team, the team in Sons and Daughters is part of uh, the prophet that's the House of Promise. That's another group. House of Promise, powerful, powerful, powerful. I was in his, I was in his room today and he said, he said, you're going to be a partner for life. <laughs> I didn't even specify how much money I would give to be in a partner. He said, but you would be a partner for life. He is a powerful, powerful prophet. Powerful. We're in a fast all week long, a fast all week long. House of Promise. That's, that's the other one that I didn't even call off yet. House of Promise International. House of Promise International. All week long, we're in a fast. And uh, and and you can uh, join in on the meetings. I post it as often as I can. Um, truly, I was gifted. I, I was gifted just to be able to meet him, meet some of these prophets 
that, that I met on, on, on Clubhouse. I was just gifted to be able to to be able to connect connect with them and prophet uh of the house of promise he's one of those that i just connected with powerful 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 i thank god for these men and women of god every day we pray that god would lead us and direct us to people who are trusting and believing in god and i thank god because uh these people that god will keep will direct you if you ask God for direction, he will direct and lead you to people who are really trusting and leaning on him. If you believe it and trust it. We, we just listen today, just listen from today, what I posted today on many of my social media networks, House of Promise. Just listen to how God speaks to the people. I thank God that the God that the, the, the God He still believe, He still uh works in mysterious ways beyond what we can even ask or think. I thank God that God is moving in a mighty, mighty way. And I, I just came on here impromptu, didn't know how long I would be on here, but I wanted to come, one, to thank God for the life of Elder Lionel Copeland, a powerful, powerful preacher. And as I said before, we listen to great preachers like uh, Bishop Huey Rogers, and I'm going to close out with uh, uh, um, one of the messages by Bishop Huey Rogers. Be blessed, be encouraged, be uplifted. But he said there's going to be a religious revival. And every religion, there has been a trend toward people coming back to God. The mainline churches, amen, have experienced a revival even in their staid way. Amen. Those that used to say uh, no tambourines and no guitars in the Catholic church. Y'all ought to hear me. In the Roman Catholic church, they're beating tambourines now. And that's why I encourage the church of God, instead of trying to get like the world, we ought to hold on to what we got. I feel my help creeping up on me. Amen. But we've got, amen, this trend that's going on in the church where we're bringing the styles and bringing the trends of the world into the church. But when I first got saved, they said, love not the world. I don't hear nobody. Uh, neither the things that are in the world. And then they go on. They tell you every Friday night, come out from among them. And be ye shepherds, said the Lord. And if you didn't hear it on Tuesday night, they tell you, follow peace with all men. And a holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. And then on Thursday night, they give you another dose of one Lord, one faith, and one baptism. They tell you, no unsaved boyfriend. Y'all, they have... Must be somebody got saved when I got saved. Hallelujah, somebody. We need directions in this age. Amen. Because the, 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 the cradle today is do what you want to do. And the pastor is saying, I don't want to bother them because they pay good tithes. But I come by to tell you, you can pay all the tithes you want to. But God going to have somebody to stand up and cry loud. Spare not, lift up your voice like a trumpet in Zion. Somebody got to say it. Shake somebody's hand like you're going to shake it. I said, somebody got to say it. I volunteer to say it. Somebody got to say it. Amen. Today, there is no direction. There was a time when if the pastor didn't get to you, there was a mother in the church. Now, there was an old mother in the church that you were scared to walk by. And you said, she said, come here, baby. You said, oh, God. <laughs> I wish I had me a witness to him. Amen. It was at least one Mother Thompson, um, a Mother Jones. Amen. There was at least one in the church. Amen. And you had just got your new outfit. And it, it was looking pretty good on you. And you thought you'd walk in and make an impression. And she said, baby, put a little hem on that dress. <laughs> That little, that little him. Come on and say amen. Uh, but I want you to know it, it's good to have those old mothers around. 
Can I get a witness here? It, it was an old mother that taught me how to pray. It was an old mother that gave me my first Bible. Amen. I didn't even know how to pray. I'd go to the noonday prayer. Amen. And just get on my knees and say, Lord, I don't know how to pray. But old Mother Thompson. Mm -hmm. And I wonder why Mother didn't say nothing. I said, that ain't no prayer. That ain't never. Mm -hmm. But way about 12 o'clock in the night, the mm -hmm goes, ah, ah. Ah, Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. And, and some of y'all think that praying is, is one of those sophisticated things where you raise your little pinker and say, Almighty God, uh, everlasting Father, would you hear my invocation today and, and give ear to my request? But when you really want something from God, you will tear your face up. Can I get a witness here? When you really want something from God, you don't care how you look. Amen. You don't know whether your sentences are making sense or not. You don't know whether the folk around you are listening or not. But the Bible said we don't know how to pray as we ought to pray. But the Spirit maketh intercession for us with moanings and groanings that cannot be interpreted. Sometime... Y'all sit down a minute. Y'all making me nervous. Hallelujah. Can somebody say amen? I want you to know I feel my help. And if y'all stand up, I, I may jump down there. So y'all just, just be careful because I'm 55 and that's speed limit, y'all. Can the church say amen? What I'm trying to tell you, I think the message is that we need to hold what we got. Instead of us taking up the ways of the world, I think we ought to hold what we got. Somebody said, well, uh, I think I better go to the word church. What you think this is? Y'all ain't gonna help me tonight, but I'm gonna preach anyhow. Let me tell you something. There's been a great exodus out of the traditional Pentecostal church. People are saying that there is no, there's no faith in this, in this organization. Said so there is no word over here. Said so I've got to go to Jimmy. I've got to go to this, but I've got to go to the other one. But it's mighty funny. We were good enough to get you saved. We were good enough for you to get the Holy Ghost. Now all of a sudden, you done got a revelation to go over someplace else. But I come by to tell you that everywhere you go, there's a spirit that you pick up. Everything you go, there's a spirit that goes with it. And what you got to do, you got to watch the spirit. You may be healed, but you pick up a spirit. Lord have mercy. You may get a miracle, but you'll pick up a spirit. And so you got to hold what you got. Amen. You need an old direction in these new times. What you're talking about, Bishop? Amen. There's more than charismatic experience. There's more than signs and wonders. Amen. Some of y'all looking for the signs, but the Bible says these signs shall... Come on here and say amen. Some of y'all are looking for miracles, but if you got the baptism of the Holy Ghost, if God is living in your soul, that's the greatest miracle that ever took place. If God snaps you out of the miry clay and put your feet on a rock to stay, put cursing out of your mouth and put a hallelujah in there, amen, took boogaloo out of your hips and put the Holy Ghost all over you, you ought to say yes! Put your arm around somebody and say, way to go. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Amen. I, I'm just, I'm just sometimes I get angry because I recognize what we have as apostolic people. Don't you know that your counterpart in every other organization are looking to you? My wife went to a meeting the other day and a Baptist lady said, what in the world is going on over there? So we trying to get a hold and y'all trying to get Baptist. So we trying to get in and y'all trying to get out. So we trying to go up and y'all 
you're trying to go down. I think you ought to earnestly contend for the faith that was once delivered unto the children of God. I think we ought to put on the whole armor of God. And when we've done all the stand, we ought to stand therefore, having on the helmet of salvation. Should I preach? Too late, I've got to preach now. Can the church say yes? Come on and say yeah, Lord. Look like to me we're losing what we used to have. There was a time when nobody had to pump you up. There was a time when nobody had to say there was it's another praise. Because when you've been through all week and looked like the devil was about to destroy you, as soon as you don't feel strength, you got up on the floor and said, I just rose to tell him what the good Lord done for me. Why don't somebody in this building say yeah, say yeah, Lord. Take somebody's hand like you're going to shake it all the way on. So I ain't going nowhere. I'm going to wait right here. Yes, I'm going to wait on the Lord. For they that wait upon the Lord. Shall renew their strength. They shall mount up on the wings of an eagle. They shall run and not get weary. They shall walk and not faint. You can do what you want to do. You can go the way you want to go. But I remember the day the Lord filled me with the baptism of the Holy Ghost and my pastor put something in me that all hell can't take off. It's been 41 years now and y'all been trying to calm me down. Y'all been trying to say take it easy Rogers. Y'all been trying to fan me and tell me to slow down. My friend certificate told me the other day you 55 years old you better sit down. But I can't sit down. I can't stop now. I got to go through. I got to go on because I heard. God, I wish I had me a church. I heard the fire said, he that endured to the end, the same shall be saved. Why don't you say yes? I wish I had a choir back here. Would y'all shake with others' hand and say, let's hold what we got. Lord, have mercy. I like the way y'all sang tonight. Because some of these songs, you don't know whether they're talking about their baby or their savior. Y'all done got quiet on me. Y'all don't want to go with me. You don't know what they got a Grammy for. You don't know what the words of the song are. But whatever happened to a maid in grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. Whatever happened to power in the blood of Jesus. Whatever happened to Jesus, keep me never cross. There's a precious fountain. I don't just say yes. Somebody said, Bishop, I don't want to sing them old songs no more. But I still see a crimson stream of blood. Why don't you say yes? Why don't somebody say yes? No matter how long it's been, it's still light in the evening time. No matter how long it's been, God is still great. And he's greatly to be praised. He brought me out of the miry clay, set my feet on a rock to stay. Walk across the aisle real quick and go back to your seat. I said, I'm going all the way with Jesus. Yeah, 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 yes. I'm going all the way because he made the way. I'm going all the way because I come this far by faith and I'm leaning. I said, I'm leaning on the Lord made up in my mind. Ain't no devil 
ever going to stop me. Made up in my mind. All the hell can't stop me. Because Jesus said, upon this rock, I, 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 upon this rock, I build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Some folk don't want you to make it. Some folk don't want you to go through. Some right here next to you might not want you to go through. They want you to fall. But you said, only him, wish I had somebody. Only him that's able. God, I feel that running back. Hallelujah. I said, able to keep you from falling. Somebody said, I can't even say. I can't hold out. I can't go through. But God sent me from New York to tell you, you might have just made it here. Some of y'all said, I'm going to make the convention. And then it's all over. But the Lord told me to tell you that he's able to keep you. He's able to deliver you. He's able to give you victory. He's able to give you your healing. He's able. God, I feel like preaching this. I said, he's able to restore you. Somebody said, listen, I failed, but that's all right. The Bible said, take heed how you say. And some of y'all here is looking at other folk, judging other folk. Lord, I feel like preaching here. Thank you, Jesus. Some of y'all were saying tonight, it don't take all that. So look at that lady dancing. So they ain't all that saying. So ain't nobody out of that deep. But when you've been through, Lord have mercy. Oh, some of y'all ain't never did nothing, no time, nowhere. But when you've been down, and everybody knew you were down, Lord, if I didn't have these flowers, then say yes, say yes, Lord, say yes. Get somebody to say, say, pray for me. I'm on my way up. Lord, have mercy. Say, pray for me. Oh, y'all ain't talking to nobody. Look at somebody. And, and look at them straight in the eye. Say, I need it. I need prayer. Yes. Pray for me. I want to go through. Pray for me. Come this far. I don't want the devil to deceive me. I've already been through the water. Can I preach? Should I preach? I feel the Holy Ghost. I said, I feel the Holy Ghost down in my soul. I feel the Holy Ghost moving all over me. Some of y'all deep saints, too big to pray for your brother, too deep to pray for your sister. But if we're going to make it to the year 2000, we got to pray for one another. Stop talking about one another. Stop gossiping about one another and stop praying for one another. Some of y'all hoping I ain't gonna preach it that way. I'm gonna preach it. Say yes. I'm gonna preach it. Because somebody is praying for me. Can I get a witness? Wave at me. Say, praying for you, Bishop. Way to go. Lord, have mercy. I thought I was right. I thought I had the anointing. They caught the anointing. Lord, have mercy. I said, the anointing breaks the yoke. The anointing destroys the yoke. You know what God told me the other day? When he's a yoke on you, and look like the devil going to choke you. The anointing, not the song. The anointing, not the program. The anointing, not the workshop. The anointing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Put the arm on somebody neck without bobbing their head. Lord have mercy. And tell them the yoke is coming off tonight.
I said, the yoke is coming off. I don't care how long it's been on. I don't care how heavy it is. <laughs> the yoke is coming off. I say it's coming off. It's coming off the preachers. The devil trying to shut you up. The devil trying to stifle you. The devil trying to stop you. But God come by here to tell me. To tell me who you lose. How you lose. It's coming off. I say it's coming off. I don't care who put it on. I don't care how long it's been on. We got the power. What we loose in the heaven will be loose on earth. What we bind in the heaven will be bound on earth. All things are possible. So did not believe in my name. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor. Like to see a yoke on the neck. Look at him like you're mad with the yoke. And tell him I got power to get it off. Thank you, Jesus. Some of y'all just want the yoke broken because you don't want to stop your mess. Say it. Yes. Reach up and tell some I'm ready to get out of this thing. Oh, y'all go. Yeah. Yeah. The word of God said, the Lord knows how to deliver them. The righteous out of temptation. Why? Tell somebody, say yes. Say yes. How many in here got something they want to kill tonight? Got a yoke that you want to destroy? When Israel came out of Egypt, God told them, you won't see Pharaoh's face no more. This is the last time you'll see him. I dare you to wave your hand and say goodbye, Pharaoh. I won't see your face no more. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody said, don't you know the devil's out for you? But the Bible said, <laughs> casting. <laughs> casting all, all your care upon him. I tell you to shake somebody's hand like you was going to kick it all the way off. I said, I could care less. <laughs> Somebody said, don't you know about sickness? I could care less because he was wounded for my transgression. He was wounded for our liquor and my distress. Excuse me. It ain't time to shout yet. Y'all tell me when it's time. Hallelujah. Shake my hands in a few minutes. Y'all want to go through a practice run? In a few minutes, the yoke is going to be destroyed. Lift your right foot and say hallelujah. Put it back down. Lift your left foot and say glory. 
destroy your own yoke before you lay hands on me. Thank you, Jesus. That's what's wrong now. They got too many unregenerated preachers laying hands. We got too many preachers prophesying that ain't got no prophecy. I ain't gonna call you out. I ain't got to call you out. Some of y'all getting in the line. Read me. Tell me what my name is. If you don't know your name, you're in trouble already. Come on and say something to me. Come on. Tell me. You ain't got to get nobody to call you out. If they don't have the anointing of God, they go around healing back aches. Y'all ain't helping me. Going around pronouncing miracles that don't never come to pass. Going around pronouncing millionaires that don't never become millionaires. But they that put their trust in the Lord shall never be confounded and the just shall live by faith. I'm about to get this thing right because I don't like to preach that don't work. Does it work? I said, does it work? Lay your hands on your own forehead and say, in the name of Jesus, I destroy this yoke and the devil can't use it no more. Listen, the last night you can use it, I am delivered. I am victorious. I am healed. I am restored. I've got the victory. Now clap your hand and pray. destroy the yoke. The God that I serve can make a way out of no way. Now I'm ready to deliver you. Get the neighbor's both hands. You're ready to deliver somebody now. You don't know the person you're going to pray for, but God decided. Hallelujah. Before the foundation of the world, that you were going to pray for this person tonight. And they were going to be loosed out of mind. And that the yoke is going to be destroyed. Turn and face the person. And minister to them. Ask God to give you what they need for their deliverance. Don't play. If you don't mean it, don't play. If you don't mean it, don't play. If you ain't ready, leave it alone. A wealthy place. For thou, O God, has proved us, thou hast tried us as silver is tried. Thou hast caused men to ride over our head. We went through the fire and through the water, but thou hast brought us out into a wealthy place 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 
for a bow. Oh, God has proved us. Thou hast tried us as silver is tried. Thou hast caused men to ride over our head. We went through the fire and through the water. But thou has brought us out into a wealthy place. A wealthy place. A wealthy place. A wealthy place.